Kvetha Vorya Un Konar, Eka Paladin Un Kvetha Abther Okami. Last episode, we went into Kamiki Village, and we restored it, and we also tempted Mr. Orange into breaking his vow of temperance, and he did, which is bad. But, I had my sister over for a couple episodes, and that was very fun, but now it's just me and you. Well, there's the CIA. Well, they're the people who are going to be viewing this in the future. So, we're not really that alone. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Now, something I haven't gone over, and I really should have, at least I don't think I've gone over it, are these signs. Those signs are a little bit confusing if you're first playing the game, because I don't think that's in Japanese mythology. And it isn't, I don't think. But yeah, it's they're very confusing, but they're just the designer's way of telling us where things are at the expense of breaking the fourth wall a little bit, because obviously there are not giant floating signs in the sky in Japan. So yeah, they're just they're just the designer's way of telling us where things are, which is neat. I'm, I'm glad that they did that at the expense of breaking the fourth wall. So, this episode we're going to be going into Agata Forest, so let's go ahead and head on in. Haven't said that in a while. So we just go ahead and swim here, and while we're swimming I can address something. And that is the collectibles videos. Uh, Ajkin USA or Ajkinusa, uh, I'm getting low on air. There we go. Ajkin USA, or Ajkinusa as I just said, he brought up a very valid point in the comments of one of the collectibles videos, and that is that they really contain potential spoilers. And he is absolutely right. I really wish I had warned you guys before I put those videos up, or when I announced that I was. And, uh, yeah, I regret that. So, right here now, I'm going to warn you that those videos contain potential spoilers. Hopefully Ajkin doesn't mind me saying his name, and hopefully I'm not butchering the pronunciation too much, but I just thought it was important, and I don't know, I like being recognized in videos, in the comments of videos, and I assume that you guys do too. That's why I mention your, na your names every now and then. So, yeah. I won't, like, trash talk you or anything, just so you know, because the, besides the fact that that is illegal, I don't want that to happen. I just don't want to do it. Anyway, uh, we have reached the end of the port. Let's go ahead and bomb this wall. And head through. Agata Forest, here we come. Agata Forest. The curse zone expanded into the forest. I thought evil would shun areas with so much grass and trees. It must really be some curse, the way it's changed the forest. Yeah, here it is. Well, we've seen this before, so I won't act too sad, because we know it's our duty to clear it up, but we also know that, well, I do, that there's an easy way and a hard way of clearing this up. The, the easy way, I can sprout the tree within 20 seconds. The hard way, I, do, I take about 4 minutes. Which do you guys wish I should choose? Uh, find out next video. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to choose the way the designers intended, and that is down the, going down this path first. Also, there's a table here. Looks like there's a place to rest here. I bet travelers y used to use it back when the ferry used to run. Well, that's sad. Okay, so let's just go ahead and trek down here. Not Trekkie, because I'm not a Trekkie. I probably watched Star Trek like once in my life, and I didn't really care for it. I like Doctor Who more. Uh, right here is a cave, which I'm going to go and go ahead and go through. There's a lot of stuff that isn't available to us yet. For example, this rock has is that treasure? No, that's a clover. It has a clover underneath, but we can't do anything with that. So, huh? What a, what what's a house doing here in this cave? How could anyone live here with that curse zone spreading around? Well, let's find out. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in this area that we can't do. We can't get to yet. Like these treasure chests, we cannot get to because we can't put out the fire. What's wrong with this treasure chest? I bet there's some really sweet stuff in there. Yeah, there probably is, and we'll probably find out one day. Let's go ahead and go through this door. Or, I'm trying to dodge forward. There we go. As if this place wasn't a little bit creepy enough with the Sheikah Eye 
on the door has this really creepy music and if we go through this way there will be some pots which we can break that's nice but also I want to draw your attention to this really weird thing this pad I don't I don't remember this anywhere else in the game this completely heals you and restores your ink which is strange I don't think anything else does this in the game I could be wrong but I guess we'll find out in the LP don't you okay now in this one uh, we have a skull but we also have ugh, gross we have this thing which we can hit and get money out of the head but it keeps on staring at us so I'm gonna ugh, leave now in this chest which I ignored right when we came through the door is a stray bead so you want to go through here go in here now we can talk to this thing <laughs> madam fawn ha 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 you've come white wolf don't and don't you look traveled you may call me madam fawn I read bones to see the future. I knew you would come. I saw it in a vision. Madam Fawn. Oh, bone reader, Madam Fawn. It looks like the world outside is in great chaos. This is not to say that it was not predestined to happen. However, this year is special because this year is the year of the next scarf for Nintendo. Oh, I mean. This is the 100th year since Nagi and Shirnui's adventure. You saw the enormous cursed area on your way here, did you not? Land rendered barren. All who approach tainted by darkness. Only one creature possesses the power to control this. Orochi. I like, I like my voice for her. It's like a, a girl cell. Even so, the rate at which it spreads. Incredible! The curse can only be lifted by restoring the guardian saplings. Perhaps you will encounter one hidden here in Nagata Forest. That's enough idle talk for now. I'm trying to run a business here. Like I told you, I'm a fortune teller. The bones reveal all. If you have money, I can tell your future wolf. Interested? Fortune telling fee? 500 yen. I will pay. Aha! Let us listen to what the bones have to say. What pair has... I'm sorry. Uh, one or two of you are going to get that reference, even though I said two words. Friend? Wah! It's coming to me. I can see it. In the dense and leafy forest, inside a cave sealed by a rock, a part of the wood sprite waits to be revived. It waits for a holy bomb to break the cracked rock. I can't tell you any more for now. You'll have to seek out clues yourself. Ha ah. ha. You obtained a Madame Fawn prediction, which is not a collectible, but they act like it is one. So, now that that's done, we can hit the symbol and leave. And also, power slash these creepy dolls. And get a ton of money from that, okay. Well, goodbye, Madame Fawn. May I never see you again. She's super creepy. Also, the fact that I I started out doing like a female cell, but by the end of it, I, I sounded a lot like GLaDOS from Portal. Like, that was scary how much I sounded like GLaDOS. Like, that was kind of insane. I didn't know I had a GLaDOS voice. Maybe you guys don't agree that that voice sounded like GLaDOS, but I sure do. Or s shall I say, I agree to the affirmative. I should have done that voice for Fee. That would work perfectly in Skyward Sword. So, where we want to go is along the shoreline following these torches. And they will take us right to the Guardian Sapling. Also, I, I'm really excited about my Madame Fawn voice. I didn't know that I... Whoa! Oh, get out, get out, get out. I didn't know I had one. That was, that's pretty neat. So, let's go through this area. Now, I was talking about the short, the easy way and the hard way. Uh, why am I in the curse zone? <laughs> that was strange. The hard way, well, the, the designer's way, is to go down the path and follow it around to go here. But the easy way is... Day. The easy way is to simply jump off the uh, the cliff right when we come into the entrance and fall right down here. 
and we'll land right here, and yeah, that's it, really. Like, within 20 seconds, you can sprout the, uh, the Guardian Sapling, because it's right through here. Just bomb this wall, and then you can go right through here, and there it is. Yeah, so you, you could have done that super fast, but instead, I chose to do it the designer's way. That's a Guardian Sapling. What's it doing down here? Ami, time for that magic brush of yours. Make that sucker bloom. That I will. Let's go ahead and do it, and I'll get my f one of my favorite tracks in video games for the second time. Same one that played in Shinshu Field when we restored that, and that was a horrible circle. There we go. Enjoy. Welcome to Agatha Forest as it should be. We get 30 praise, and also the reward of the wonderful art style of this game. Just the direction they went with their art is just amazing. It astounds me that they, that they did this and that no one had thought to do this kind of art before. Okay, let me go and cut out feeding these bunnies because they're starving, apparently. So, let me go and feed them. And six preys. Very nice. So, let's go behind the tree real f fast. That's weird. That thing is following the screen. That petal. There is a clover right behind the tree, which we want to bloom. There we go. And then there is a nice reward right over... Actually, first, let me power slash this grass. No, I didn't get anything from it. Okay. There's a very good reward for our troubles right here. You obtained devout beads. A new divine instrument guarding by, uh, guarded by the guardian sapling, eh? Wow. Saki is going to spoil you at this rate. Anyway, this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. The monsters are going to try to get you any way they can. So, you need to equip a good divine instrument and practice with it. But remember, there's more to simply out uh, equipping them. They can be equipped as a sub-weapon or a main weapon. A weapon's effect will differ depending on how it's equipped. You can even pull off some secret techniques with your sub-weapons. Even after your 100-year nap, you remember that much, right? I know you're not too... <laughs> wow! I know you're not too bright, but no sweat. No thinking involved. <laughs> Just try to equip that new divine instrument as a main weapon. And there we go. Now, as a sub-weapon, the Reflector, which is what Divine Retribution is, can be used to shield things, which actually I'll let Isun do that. Uh, let me equip this as my main, and equip this as my sub, and then I'll let Isun describe this, because otherwise it'll just be a little bit of repetition. So, Isun, take it, take it away. Got the hang of it? Well, let me give you an example. You know that mirror of yours? Reflector. Well, it acts as a shield when equipped as a sub-weapon. If you're under attack, press the Z button to guard with it. Something they don't mention. And that's part of what they say with secret secret techniques. It's not really secret, but it, it's something that they don't tell you because they want you to find out for yourself. When you're under attack, you can press the Z button to guard with it, right? However, if uh, with certain attacks, mostly physical attacks, not projectiles, you can actually press the Z button and initiate a counter attack so you will do a counter that is super powerful and it makes it so you don't take any damage so that's really nice especially for enemies like yellow imps when i show that off soon next time we find a yellow imp i will show it off and it makes fighting them a lot easier because what we can do is before we just splot them and attack right but this time what we can do is splot them and while they're doing their blind swipes you know how they're confused and they swipe every which way well we can actually counter that blind swipe and almost insta kill them yeah it's super useful so we want to be doing that and be using the reflector as a sub weapon okay you should test it out on the monsters in the area. Oh, and one more thing. You remember what Sakuya said, don't you? 
The sacred tree in Kamiki Village will bear a guardian fruit each time a guardian sapling is revived. Make sure you stop by Sakuya's tree whenever you return to Kamiki. And that we will. So, with devout beads, basically what they do, they are a rosary type weapon. Which makes it sound like I'm talking about Pokemon, but I'm not. Basically, what it does is you will have a whip of beads that can, will enable you from, to attack from a distance. Now, as a sub-weapon, the rosaries can be used to shoot. Uh, you use the Z button for your sub-weapon at all times. Except with the beads, sometimes. Uh, with, with some of the rosaries, you'll be able to press Z, and you'll be able to shoot beads at the enemy. After that, with certain rosaries, you can cons press C consecutive af consecutively after that, and basically machine gun beads at, at people. Super useful. So, with our new weapon in tow, or around neck, we can leave this area and see Agata Forest. Let's go! Let me change the camera here, there we go. And, let's continue on. But not before, find out who's playing the flute. And that character is my favorite character in the game. Hark! The call of the heavens, the earth, the sea! They summon me forth to defeat evil! Waka, the god's gift to man, is here! Bonjour! Tau Master Waka, we, who we heard a little bit about. What's up with that guy? That crimson shading and divine instrument on your back. You look kind of weird, but I reckon you pack a punch, baby. Hey, think you're so special way up there? Get down here and talk face to face to... Wait, did he say Crimson Shading? Can he see Ami's true form? That he can. He can walk on water! <laughs> and he's also Luke Skywalker. Hey, he drew a sword. We. Oui. This is how I get my point across, pun intended. The moment the cursed zone started spreading across Nippon, I saw the shadowy figure that removed the sacred sword Tsukiyomi flee into Kamiki Village and seal the entrance with a huge rock. You guys know anything about that? This guy gives me the creeps. Better keep your eye on him. Huh? Ami, you getting all wor worked up again? Also, during cutscenes, Ami wears Divine Retribution for n not much reason. I don't really know why. Designers just didn't want to program that in. Magnifique! <laughs> I can't say that word. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now you shall get an earful of my beloved sword. Behold! Pillow Talk! Let's rock, baby! This is Tao Master Waka! My favorite character. Right off, we're just going to be thrown into battle, and they give us rosaries for a reason. And also, you got to see my reflector there. Because it is best to attack Waka from a distance, and jump when he's about to attack, or block with the reflector. Oh my word, and when he throws his other sword, you just want to power slash it back at him, and he will turn gray, and you can get a free power slash. Now, normally, I like to, uh, I like to hit them while they're down and gray like that, but you actually want to power slash. It does more damage because he has a lot of HP and defense, so we want to do that. Let's go and hit him. Whoa, I lost Godhood on that. I'm really nervous about this guy. You just, he can walk on water, but you can't, and once he's finished with his combo... You can power slash him. Okay. Uh, the aerial, the aerial rosary attack. I lost all my godhood. The aerial rosary attack isn't too good though. It has a ton of range, like so. 
and it does like no damage so you don't want to really do it so let's go ahead and ch jump up here and power slash and let me go ahead and hit him with my rosary z oh wow i accidentally i accidentally dodged that was super useful i forgot i had that move it's been quite some time since I've last tasted your power, Matarasu. That's enough for now. Too late now, you're the one who picked the fight. Hey, wait, you know this guy, Ami? <laughs> well, that was pretty tactless. Excuse-moi, baby. You see, I was looking into that curse zone that struck this area. It consumed all in its path, even the light of the sun. It is the curse of Orochi, the legendary eight-headed serpent. Uh, Orochi? Do not utter that name without reason. That alone could curse the weak of mind. Orochi was slain 100 years ago by Nagi and Shiranui, and its evil spirit was sealed away in the moon cave which I guarded. You know, the cave in the middle of the lake over on Shinshu Field? But someone has gone and freed Orochi by removing Sukiyomi. The beast's evil has caused a curse zone to cover these lands. I never thought the sacred sword would be so easily removed. Whoever did it waited till I was back in the capital. It seems things are afoot that even I did not prophesize. Run dun ta! <laughs> We're way ahead of you, pretty boy. We've been busy dispelling the curse left and right. That Orochi is going to be mi <laughs> minced meat when we're done when we're through with it. So you're the ones who revived the trees in these areas. But a lot of time has passed since Orochi's return. You'd, be, you'd better pick up the pace, Mashare, which means my love, by the way. At least I'm fairly certain. What? I'm sorry to say, our battle now is just a big disappointment. You're not what you used to be, Amaterasu. You may have defeated Orochi long ago, but one cannot dwell on past glories. You have weakened greatly during your 100-year slumber. That's enough! Now, tell me about that shadowy figure you saw fleeing to Kamiki. How do we know it wasn't you? Relax, my little bouncing friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little prophecy for you. I can see into the future, you see. I foresee a log and big thrills! You'll know what I'm talking about when the time comes. Anyways, I must be off. The work of a prophet is never done. Au revoir, baby. And he can fly. What a freak. Who in the who in the name of Nutella and cabbage does he think he is? Hey, wake up, Ami. We got work to do. Oh, Ami's so cute. She's just like is is he gone? Is the man gone? Can I do stuff now? She's so cute. And that did badly on time, but I took no damage, technically, because I, I had Godhood. So that was nice. 3,400 yen. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some Godhood. So let me just pause here, and I can show you how to do it. Uh, I have one Traveler's Charm. I'm just going to use one. And there we go. Now, I'm going to go to the nearest Demon Scroll so I can show you... How to defeat yellow imps, should there be any in the demon scroll. Uh, let's try this one. This one should have something. Demon scroll, sup? There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and real quick defeat these guys. Now, one... Really? I just lost my godhood. Thank goodness. Wonderful. Now, one thing that's bad about rosaries is because you attack so fast, can't you uh, really uh, use up... No, what am I saying? You make it so sometimes you can overkill them and miss the Floral Fincher. So let me show you what uh, you do with Yellow Imps. You just do this and press Z or get hit. Thanks, thanks, thing. 
there we go, counter them, and he was at full health before, and now he's practically dead. And now he is. Goodbye. Whoa! And let me go ahead and kill this green imp, and now that you've seen the power of the the reflector as a sub-weapon, we can exit this battle, even though I've taken some damage. There we go. And now I'm up to 20,000 yen, which is good, because I'm going to end off this episode by... Let's see, where is that? There is a store over here. I'm going to bypass everything for now. I just want to go to the store, because that's a good ending point, so I can show you guys some stuff that I buy and stuff like that. So, when I start off the episode next time, I'm going to start where we fought Waka, because I'd like to work on things from there. So, let's just start with the store, and then next episode we'll explore Agata Forest. Oh, what a pain. Deep in Agata Forest, there's a big river called Narai River. The bridge over it was destroyed in a storm the other day. So now I can't get hold, get hold of any new stock. Luckily, I've got quite a lot of, in reserve, so I can still trade. Feel free to take a look if you've been sent to do the shopping, pup. And that I will. Uh, I'm going to sell stuff first. I'm going to show you the bullhorn. It show you that the bullhorn that we got from Sakuya is worth 3,000 yen. So let me sell that. And then let me go ahead and buy stuff. And this store is special because this has gold dust. There are a few stores in the game that have this. However, this is the reason why I, uh, I said last step? No. Two episodes ago that there are 15 gold dusts in the game. But in the gold dust video I released, there are only 10 entries, and that is because every store that carries gold dust, to my knowledge, carries two of them. So, for 10,000 yen, let's buy two gold dusts. And now he's sold out. Now, let's see, do I need to stock up on anything else? I might as well buy two feed bags, just because there's going to be one day that I'm going to regret not getting them. Uh, he sells infinity stones and minute slips, though they cost an arm and a leg, so I'm going to pass on those. I'm going to buy two steel fist sakes. One steel soul. And I'm going to buy five holy bone M's. Just, wow, 41 yen left. Just be I just bought those because, you know, we can't be too prepared. So I might as well get those. So, that's going to be it for this episode. But first, I'm going to real quick, as I head back to the other area, to the beginning of the area, I'm going to explain real quick um, Waka's reference to mythology. Waka is based on, dun dun dun, get my guide, Ushi Wakamaru, and he's basically, it's sort of like the story of, I can't, uh, things happening next episode, he's basically the story of Han Hannibal, he grew up, his parents were killed by these people, this tribe, so he became a general to, uh, to exact his revenge. A lot like the story of Hannibal from the Carthaginian uh, general. So he did this, and then after defeating them through like really good strategy and stuff like that, uh, for some reason his army wanted to kill him. So what he did... I wonder if he can go into that waterfall. So what he did is he fled. Basically he became Robin Hood. So it's like Hannibal combined with Robin Hood. Actually, it's a lot like Hannibal's story. Now, oh my word. So he became a ba sort of like a bandit, sort of, um, and he fled to the hills with some of his most trusted comrades, and he lived his life in the woods. So he's basically Robin Hood, sort of, and after a while, they caught up with him. The tribe caught up with him, so he committed suicide. So yeah, his, his story is really popular be just because of its tragic ending, and, you know, it's it's really inspirational story for, you know, how he kind of rose up from from just a, a boy to being a general. So it's it's very interesting. Also, there's a legend that he actually didn't die, but he fled Japan, and he became known as Genghis Khan. So, yeah, there's it's actually pretty, pretty neat. I really like his story. So, with that out of the way, that's going to be it for this episode as I try to find a place to save. I think there's one over here. So, that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, we're going to actually explore Akata Forest, since we haven't really gotten to do that. So, we're going to do that. Oh, and there's a mirror in here. So, I'll start up here next episode, which works, because I'll be starting from the top down. So, I release new episodes of Okami two days, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And next time in Okami, we'll explore with our new weapons and 
Oh, actually, no. Before I go, before I go, no, I didn't want to do that. Uh, before I go, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our new weapon with the gold dust. There we go, gold dust, and upgrade it. There we go. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.